Hey buddies, Miss Pogi here coming at you with another Wonderlands news video. Today I want to talk about melee weapons. The reason why we're talking about melee weapons is because we got this article from IGN recently that explains tons and tons of things about the melee weapons. It's going to be certain customization, we got some modules, we got even the manufacturer names as well, and every single type of melee weapon that we are expected to see. But before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. You have no idea how much helps me out, and let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! No so first things first, before we actually talk about the melee weapons, I do want to show right here that they specifically say that they added more than just guns and launchers to the formula, they introduced melee weapons and wands, and no one has really been talking about the wands, it's possible that the wands are really just spells, but the fact that they put them as their own category instead of just spells they it's deliberately called them wands make me think that perhaps we'll see wands drop as a certain type of different thing that you can equip over your melee weapon or something like that that might not be the case at all but i think it's really interesting that they specified the word wands over spells in this particular instance so right off the bat in the article, it explains right here that Tiny Tina Wonderland's melee weapons comes in four different flavors, as they put it there. And I'm going to try my best to say melee properly because most of the time I say melee and people get mad at me. So I'm going to try to say melee <laughs> today's video because we're specifically talking about melee weapons. So there's going to be two handed blades. That's one. The second type of flavor is going to be swords. Then we have axes and then blunt weapons, which are hammers and morning stars. Now, each one of these particular things has a manufacturer link to them. As I'll be showing right here, they explain each manufacturer only makes a specific type of melee weapon. So Valora only makes two handed swords. Swift makes the one handed swords. Cleave makes the axes and then Bonk makes the blunt weapons, which is a very funny thing. It's been going around in the meme cultures with hammers, so I think that's very funny that they included that into the game. Makes sense since it's going to be Tiny Tina's mind. First things first, let's actually talk about the weapon manufacturer names because I feel like that's going to give us a little bit of a hint on what specification that these melee weapons will have over each other. So Valora obviously comes from the word Valor, which means courageous and stuff like that. So this might be a more high risk, high rewards play style with two-handed swords. We do know later in the article that two-handed swords are the only melee weapon that doesn't allow you to guide their attacks. So they've explained in the past, I'll probably be showing an example on the screen right here, that when you melee, you're going to have a animation that guides you to the enemy. So you're gonna like lock onto the enemy, load towards the enemy, and then melee towards that. But the two-handed blades are the only ones that don't have that. So it's quite possible that this particular weapon is going to have a big AOE. Maybe it's going to have more of a longer animation, but deals lots of damage, like a heavy attack. And then next we have Swift, which does the one-handed swords. I feel like this is a very easy translation. Swift means fast, so it's possible that the one-handed swords are going to be your fastest way to dish out damage with a melee weapon. So the one-handed sword is quite possible that we'll be able to swing faster than any other. Next, we have Cleave, which is for axes. In MMO history, it's very common to use cleave as a way to describe hitting someone with a melee weapon, but instead of just hitting one person, you hit two or more enemies. So right here, cleave, it's possible that all axes will have a ability to hit more than just one enemy with every single melee, which is very, very exciting. And then obviously bonk will just be a big boom to an enemy to deal heavy damage, probably like a long windup similar to Valora, but Bonk will still have the glide towards the enemies, so I'm not 100% certain what the distinguishing factor of this particular manufacturer is going to be besides that they're blunt weapons. So we'll have to see when the game actually releases that information. And luckily for us, IGN actually released some pictures of the weapons we have here. So we're going to be able to see an example of every single manufacturer that I just described. I could be wrong. So right here, this looks to be a swift weapon. This looks to be a one-handed sword, so it's probably a shift manufacturer. This sword looks very nice. I really like the blue. It makes you kind of think of Zero, which is very exciting. I would love to see Zero's sword in the game somehow, or even Athena's sword, but <laughs> I digress. Let's go on to the next weapon here, which it appears to be another type of blade. This looks more like a glaive or a polearm, so I'm not sure what category this would actually fit into. It's possible this would actually be one of the 
cleave manufacturers, but I'm not 100% certain. It's quite possible because it is some type of bladed weapon that isn't necessarily a sword, but I could be wrong. And then next we have this cool looking sword. This kind of reminds me more of a two-hander. So this could be our first example of Valora and it kind of looks more like a Valiant type of weapon. So Valora manufacturer might fit more into the Paladin like theme, <laughs> but that's heavy speculation at this point. So this is probably a two-handed weapon that looks very, very cool. Looks straight out of a King Arthur book tale. Looks like Excalibur or something like that. And the final weapon we have here is going to be this big scythe, which this actually might be a cleave weapon. It looks more like an axe. It looks honestly like a buzz axe if you look right here. So it's quite possible this is actually the cleave as opposed to the pole arm we saw before. We can only speculate at this point, which is <laughs> I wish we had a little thing on the bottom left of these pictures that told me what every single one belongs to manufacturer wise. And then of course, these pictures, we don't have a detailed picture of a bonk weapon, but we can see right here on this graveborn, he kind of appears to have a hammer here with some jets on the edge of it, kind of like a Reinhardt hammer that could propelled by some jets to make the melee go quicker or something like that. But that's <laughs> as most of this is just speculation at this point. One exciting thing is we get confirmation that for the particular swords, like the one, it doesn't state if this is the two-handed or the one-handed sword, but it does say that there's 12 different types of blades in the sword weapon class alone. So it's, I'm not sure if they're necessarily saying two-handed or one-handed, but they did specify two-handed blades and swords being different. So it's possible that this is a sword specific weapon parts that we see in the shift manufacturer and we have confirmation there's 12 different ones which is crazy and then we also have confirmation that besides the blades themselves there is going to be hilts that are different on your melee weapon. So we have two confirmation of two different weapon parts that can roll on melee weapons at the moment. We have hilts and then the blade. And the hilts are actually very interesting because the hilts offer bonuses to your character while you have the actual weapon equipped. For example, in the article it explains that there's a mod that allows you to gather weapons when you hit people with your melee weapon, which is very, very cool. In a previous article, we even got in one of the dev diaries, a description of when you melee someone you get spell cooldown back so it's possible that one of the other hilt effects is that you get spell cooldown faster which is awesome so you could imagine there'll be a bunch of different things that are utility wise that will allow you to warrant the use of melee weapons even if your character doesn't like to use melee if you're a spellcaster, you could just melee someone get your spells back quicker like that and then start doing all your spells again so it's awesome that they made a system that will reward and suggest the player to use melee weapons more often no matter the play style and in the article we also got confirmation that we're going to be seeing melee stagger again if you guys aren't aware in all the borderlands games or at least commonly in borderlands 2 and 3 i believe it was in 2 but i know it is in borderlands 3 when you melee someone they would stagger which could allow you to get some interesting ai loops to potentially not get the enemy to really attack you i've done that in plenty of my challenge runs on my twitch channel and it's awesome to see that that's going to make a return as well and i don't want to forget this part this particular concept art sheet shows a bunch of different hilts that we can expect all of them look really nice but we don't really know what they can really do and here's a better image of some of the other weapons that we can expect these are going to of course be the cleave category this is going to be the bonk category and this might be another pull arm or maybe another cleave weapon that we can expect and i think i forgot to show this image of one of the morning stars as well so this is another bonk weapon that <laughs> i probably should have shown a little bit earlier but here we go we have it here now the only other interesting thing that was released in this particular article is the mention of enchantments now enchantments are very unexplored at the moment there has been speculation that enchantments are going to be anointments I've asked on Twitter what people expect enchantments are going to be some speculate they're going to be anointments but it's really interesting that they particularly say that these enchantments will affect different levels of rarity so that particular line makes me think that we will see anointments coming back in the game but will be powered differently depending on the level of rarity that you roll on said anointment or or maybe even on the weapon. I'm not sure if that's a good 
one-on-one -on -one comparison on that, but that might be something that we see in the future and something that ADR, the Pangolin, speculated on Twitter as well. So big shout out to him as well. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jason Mills, Clairvoyant, 31 Bar 70, and Rick and Glade CS. These are the members who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments and description or on the top right. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat. Facing him up with a moxie melted. He woke up drowning in Chachiki hell. Born a cave with a torch on a wall, then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls.